this turret is uh, the biggest turret in the world. So Dubai is already having uh, the biggest mall in the world, the biggest tower in the world, and now it's having also the biggest uh, turret. So at the moment, as you see, the structure's complete, or thereabouts. And what's currently missing, judged by the sunlight above us, is the turret module itself, which will be coming in by and integrated with the main substructure. And that's the part that does all the anchoring, the mooring, and has all the rises, the flexible rises, which accommodate all the gas, oil, which enter the facility. Because the FLNG is designed for a 10,000 year storm condition, if you were to moor it in a fixed position, you can imagine the forces, the wind forces, the wave forces, to be horrendous. We really uh, wanted this project to again push uh, uh, ourselves. We wanted to update our, our processes. We wanted to alleviate our uh, safety standards. And again, Dubai is always about the world record breaking. So this project has really helped us in positioning the yard within the Dubai and the UAE strategy of being one of the best in the world. current uh, heat, uh, the summer months in Dubai is hugely challenging. We have temperatures are touching up of the 40, 40, and maybe 45 to 48 degrees. So for the workforce and, and for, the, uh, for the team, we have a major, major challenge. Who has done this the first time, you know? At the sequel you think we were... What, what we actually do is we, we are raising the stern, the back of the ship, up by five centimeters and then we drive forward and then the stern sinks the back of the ship sinks down so our ship is behaving a bit like a seesaw and then we put weight we put water in the front of the ship and bring bring the, the seesaw up
it was great actually coming here yesterday and, and seeing the, the logo. And you know, it's fantastic to you know, see it sail away. And, and you know, that's one other important step on the way to completing Prelude in a safe and, and robust manner. I have to be very honest with you. Every day when I wake up and I see, I see components this side, you know, I, I'm struck with awe. You know, it, it really is awesome what, what is being done here. It's awesome what people are delivering and, and the size and sometimes the complexity, but how it all comes together, keeping it as simple as possible and really building what effectively will be the largest floating structure in the world.